Hey everyone and welcome back to my Disney Cruise Line embarkation vlog. We are boarding the Disney Magic for a five night silver anniversary at sea. That means it is the 25 year anniversary of the Disney Cruise Line. There is our ship, Disney Magic is here already. We are leaving out of Port of Miami. I'm traveling with my best friend, Coco. Hi. You guys know him, if you're not, if you're new to the channel, he's my best friend. We're gonna be on the five night cruise together. We're so excited. Come along with us for the five night adventure. Can't wait to get on the ship. It is currently 11.40 and our port arrival time is 11.45. So we're right on time. We did check our luggage already with the porter. Make sure you are tipping your porters when you give them your bags. It might get your bag to your room quicker. Who knows? Oh my God, can you believe it? I know, I can't believe it. Be miracles <laughs> when you believe. So luckily we booked this cruise like a month and a half ago. And the special thing about this cruise is that it's two stops at Disney's private island, Castaway Key, which is always something that I wanted to check off my bucket list. I always wanted to stop there twice, and we'll be doing that on this cruise. So if you are coming on a Disney cruise here in Miami, it is going to be Terminal C. Terminal C. Just got their security. It was literally so fast. Now we're going to go to the check-in area. How fast was that? Super fast. Love Super it. fast. And today I am a Platinum. This is my 12th time on Disney Cruise Line. So we're going to go into this line. Only one person ahead of us versus all those people ahead of us. Don't be over here in the black. <laughs> Say it with me. Priority. Priority. Let's finish our check-in. How Chevella. literally the quickest check-in I've ever had. Shout out to Chevella. Yes. Yeah, I love a good shout out. She checked us in. Chevella was super, super sweet. sweet. Now it's time to board to the ship. It is boarding time already. We are group nine. How do you know? Uh, One of my subscribers works here, which is so nice. Such a nice welcome aboard Disney Magic. But yeah, we literally just got here like five minutes ago and we're already boarding the ship. You have the option to take a picture here before you board the ship, but we are bypassing that. We've done this a few times, so we're just gonna get on the ship. Also, if you are bringing wine on the ship, you gotta bring it in your carry-on. I gotta say my carry-on is heavy. I have two bottles of wine here. It's a long walk. I feel like this is longer than um, Port, Port Canaveral. Canaveral, yeah. Shout out to Port Canaveral, y'all. People be hating on it. Ahoy! <laughs> so I'll be out of breath. Out of breath. My, I'm getting back sweat. <laughs> but cement mixing and rocket launchers. Port Canaveral, don't sleep on Central Florida. Engineering at its finest. Engineering at its <laughs> finest, thing. This is your port arrival form, which you can have here on your phone. You don't need to print it out, you know, save a piece of paper, save the planet. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. We have Francisco. Yes. And Asael. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we are on the gangway. We got blue bands, I don't know why. They just told us we had to have them on. So obviously we do a lot of version and a lot of Disney and a lot of the people who work, a lot of the a lot of the people who work on at Virgin also work for Disney Cruise Line here in Miami. We just met Tim who watches my vlog, so shout out Tim. Thank you for shout watching. Super nice and warm. Super nice, yes. The moment we have been waiting for is almost here. We're on the gangway about to board the Disney Magic. Oh, she vlogging, she vlogging. So when you board a Disney cruise ship, they always welcome you aboard and they say your name. So are we gonna go by our nicknames, Sasha and Coco, or are we gonna go by our government names, Francesco and Asael? Nicknames. Nicknames, not government names? Our nicknames are our chosen names. Our government names are the parents that birthed us and we didn't have no choice but to seek that name. All right, so nicknames it is. Oh, here we go. All right, Coco's gonna be the first one to step foot aboard the Disney Magic. Thank you, thank you. Oh man, I can see them back. Back of the Disney magic. I smell that Disney Cruise Line scent already. Man, Disney Magic has a lot of memories for me. Wow. This is the line for guest services. People try to make changes and stuff already. Welcome to Disney Magic. Oh, this is one of the brand new bars here. 
So this ship recently went through dry dock, which is like a refurbishment. Hey, you want and to this bar and this bar is a different bar than what was here last time we were here. Stay here, you dry dock, why wet dock, and then we can have a wet dock here. You have to I go potty. Go potty, yeah. All right. <laughs> And what do you think? And we could have a drink. This could be our first drink. Okay. My tree. Right. So while Coco goes to use the restroom, I'm going to go ahead and log on to Disney Cruise Line. All right, what is going on here? So you find out your restaurant rotation the minute you board the ship. All you have to do is open up the Disney Cruise Line Navigator app. So as you can see, there's a drink of the day, which is the Paradise Punch. Amazing. I'm so excited because tonight our dinner is going to be at Rapunzel's Royal Table, which is my favorite restaurant here on the Disney Magic. So that's exciting. So if you go to my plans, you can see that obviously we have the mandatory guest assembly drill which, that every cruise line does before you leave port. We have a sail away party. We also have our dinner that's already here on our plan for the day. Tomorrow we have Lumiere's. The following day we have an Animator's palette. The day after that, we have Animator's palette again. And then we have Rapunzel's Royal Table one more time. Oh, I haven't seen this show in a long time. They have the Till We Meet Again party, which is basically the last night of your cruise. It's like a going back home party. It's kind of sad, <laughs> actually. It's really not that happy because it's the last night of your cruise and it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a bitter feeling. Not bittersweet, bitter. So when you board the ship, you have the option of either going to Cabana's, which is the buffet for everyone, or you can do a sit-down restaurant, which on this ship, the Disney Magic, is Rapunzel's Royal Table. You can do a sit-down as well. So Why can't we go to Lumiere's? We could, because Lumiere's might be for um, concierge, actually. So we're either going to go to Cabana's or Rapunzel's journey. Royal Table for the sit-down lunch on embarkation day. Everyone gets these blue, blue bands apparently. Oh, so everyone gets these? Yeah, it's oh, just okay. to come in and out the ship. So we're not special? <laughs> That's All right. All right, let's have a drink. Oh, Coco is ready for a drink on the ship. Let me grab all my things. All right, I guess he wants to sit at the bar. We're gonna go get a beverage, an adult beverage, before we go and have some lunch. So we are at the Soul Cat Lounge. This is a brand new bar here on the Disney Magic. We actually ordered one of like the 25th anniversary here. drink. You could take the bookmark, I already took mine. Yeah, it's free, you can take it with you. <laughs> if it's right, it's for me. It's, it has tequila blanco, fresh lime juice, maraschino, demerara syrup. Ooh, they have glitter in it. We are in rare form, we don't know how to act. I, 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 feel like, I feel like this is my first time on the Disney Magic because it's been a, a long time since I've been on this show. And also now that I have been on Disney Dream, Disney Wish, Disney Magic, I do like that their entrances are very different. Very. All three are very different. My favorite is the Dream. I think, I don't know, I think I have an attachment to the Dream. Yeah, this is my the Dream one. is my favorite for sure. So. And that was our first cruise together on the yeah. Dream. Coco's paying the bill. Thank you, Coco, for treating me to my first drink on the Disney Magic. Thank you for having me on the Disney Magic with you. Oh, I am honored. But this is our cocktail. It's the Disney 25 Year at Sea Silver, an Silver Anniversary Jubilee Cocktail. Do you want me to tell them what's in it? Sparkles. We are, you guys, we're like children. All right, cheers. She's tart. What do I got to do to get one of them little macarons right there? We're leaving the Soul Cat Lounge. We're taking our drinks to go and we're gonna go eat lunch at Rapunzel's Royal Table. Which is literally right beside the Soul Cat Lounge right there. Hi. Hi, welcome on board. Are you coming for lunch? Yes. Okay. Rapunzel's Royal Table. Ooh. Right here? Please enjoy. Oh, thank you so much. So the embarkation day menu is pretty much the same as all the other ships. So appetizer, they have from the kettle, which is a soup. They have their entrees, they have their desserts, they have their children's selection. We are having our first meal on the ship, which is a potato and leek soup. Cheers to our first meal on the Disney Magic. So I got a salmon salad, starting off the cruise light because we know the rest of the cruise is gonna be chicken tenders, french fries, pizza. We're not gonna be this good. This is just a facade. <laughs> Carbs, 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 so delicious. It is officially 221, so our rooms are available by now. The weather is really bad in Miami right now. It is raining, guys. You see that? Rainy and windy. All right, so luckily for Coco, 
he doesn't have to go down that many flight of stairs because our room is on As the second the moment, deck. But all the parties popping on like the tenth and stuff. We're on deck two for our room. Oh, yes. So I have never done this on a Disney cruise, but we're doing an interior room. So two, one, three, three. A lot of bags have already started making it to the rooms here. My bag's here already. All right, so let's see if we can get in. We'll see if we can upgrade. If not, this is gonna be our room for the rest of the trip. It's a different key than oh. we ever had. I love it. Oh my, it's, nice. it's very spacious. But maybe we should keep it. No. But I will say that it is nice to have a little thing that you can walk out to. I like it. The Disney Dream has a virtual porthole. Coco just said in his vlog that it smells like poverty in here. <laughs> so the only thing that is missing is the veranda. Yeah, yeah, legit. It's the same room except we can't step outside. What do I have here? Hey, hey, hey. Okay, so these are the Disney Silver Anniversary lanyards. We each got one. But I guess that's my platinum gift. But I think this one. You know, I love me some bags. Even look at this. Like the lamps here in the room have little hidden Mickeys. You still want to upgrade? You want to stay in here? I still want to upgrade. All right, let's go check. A few moments later. He called guest services to ask if they had any upgrades available, and there are none. This she is. She said no. She said no. Can we talk about these lanyards? Like, Sasha, just this alone. This is the cutest lanyard ever. No, it really is. I'm really excited about this lanyard. Let's order some food here. I know we just had some lunch, but why not? Should we get chicken tenders? Sure. Can you guys hear the music? Hi, this is Mr. Lentini. Not the mister. Hi, you may I place an order for room service, please? Two champagne glasses. Two wine glasses. Two wine glasses. Two orders of buffalo wings. Coco now got his bag. My bag is here. So both of our bags have made it to the room and it's only 2.44. We've never stayed in an interior room here on Disney Cruise Line, but it's not bad. I mean, it's same amount of space. The only thing we don't have is a veranda, so. It'll force us to like be out on the deck up top oh, that, and get out of the room. Lots of storage, lots of drawers. Because remember, um, Sasha, I don't know that you know. But oh wow, we have lots. This is a deluxe interior room. It is a deluxe interior mm -hmm. room. Yeah, correct, you are right. Okay, so we're currently on hold with room service again because I forgot to ask for my platinum gift. You do get like either chocolates, fruit plate, or a bottle of Prosecco. I was able to order my uh, platinum um, gift. May I please have the sparkling wine? Okay, thank you so much. Thanks, bye. Sparkling wine is on its way. Okay, anyways, we were putting away our bottles. Two bottles for me and two bottles from Kogo. Ooh, this is nice. What is this? I don't know, I look pretty. <laughs> it does look pretty. And then Coco also got us a Chardonnay. I brought us Moet glasses so we can take it to the pool or wherever. I also have a... This is from my last Disney Wish cruise, actually. It was a platinum gift. Not only is it a bottle to hold any kind of beverage, but it's also a speaker. Thank you so much. So this is the platinum oh, gift for you guys. The bottle of Prosecco. Thank you so much. Chicken Ooh, rings, yes, fries, perfect, rain, amazing. Panini. All the condiments are here, okay, buffalo sauce, blue cheese. Yeah. Thank you so much, have a good day. Coco's really getting settled in there. He's putting all his stuff away. It's only five nights, you but he's- You guys already know, I like put my shit away. He's like hanging everything. Right. I'm over here lollygagging. All my stuff is still in my bag. Once I have everything away, I'm so happy. I feel at peace. I feel like I don't have to worry about things. Ooh, look at all this. I'm still hungry despite the fact that we just had lunch. So Coco got these buffalo wings, but I got I got the wings with no buffalo. So it is an option. You can ask for it naked, no buffalo sauce. We have just poured a glass of champagne. So cheers. We actually have to go to our mustard drills. I wonder if we can take our drinks to our mustard drill. What is our mustard station? Assembly station R. Oh, by the way, guys, we have put our little magnet, Francesco and Asael. Which, that's Coco's real name. That's his government name. My government, the one I didn't choose. You guys, we are behind the scenes. We are on our way to our mandatory assembly drill. So this is the only time during the, during the cruise that you'll be able to go into like the crew areas. So yeah, behind the scenes, this is backstage. 
All right, this is our assembly station. R. You are R. Hola. ¿Dónde nos sentamos? Hay dos lugares por aquí. Aquí hay uno. Ya hicieron check-in. Sí, ya, ya, ya. A few moments later. All right, the drill is completed. Yes. Adiós. Gracias. Our assembly station was here at Animator's Palette. We'll be here in a few days. So unfortunately, due to weather, the sail away party is going to be here in the main atrium. So this is a sail away situation for our cruise. Everyone's gathered up around decks four and five to watch the sail away party. Vlogger and Disney Good, good, good. Good yes, time. Hey. How's your Disney cruise so far? Magical. So we just got back to our room. I got a phone call. Also, perfect timing. God knows everything. Perfect timing. Uh, Kogo does not yet know this, but I just got a phone call from Palo. Palo is the adult restaurant here on the ship. <gasps> Do we got brunch? We got freaking brunch. Oh, baby. I it, do yes. know. No, that I do know because it's always like it's so hard to get brunch. What day? Uh, the day after tomorrow. On uh, Nassau day. <gasps> I'm, I'm super excited, but I wanted to go on the bunk bed because if you've watched Francesco's channel, Francesco has introduced me to Disney Cruise Lines, which lets my inner child out, which I've had a very rough life, guys. Wait, say like, it louder because that's I've had a very, no, you're going to make me cry. This is going to be the first time I cry being vulnerable on camera. Ugh. I got to okay. say this for my channel. These oh, okay. tears are expensive. <laughs> no, no, no. But for real, like, listen, if your inner child is healing, treat yourself as an adult. Sometimes we're not raised in the best circumstances, so bless yourselves. Ooh. <laughs> Oh my god, my eyebrows are gonna rub off. It's okay. I had I had a teary moment earlier. You deserve one as well. I'm done. Is this gonna be an emotional cruise for us? <laughs> the amount of money we paid for this cruise, a little therapy is uh, included in this. All right. Oh, I'm emotionally <laughs> exhausted right now. Okay, so just let's just skip to the point. Yes. The bunk bed. Are we I doing? I tried it. It said 220 weight limit i told him i was 221.8 and he said try it and i tried it and the beds did not break so i'm gonna sleep there tonight doing the bunk bed tonight yeah and it has stars up there before y'all come for me in the comments i did offer him to like you know i sleep in the bed you one don't night have to explain yourself to yes. nobody i sleep on the bed one night and then we just alternate with between the bed and couch or the, or the bunk bed which i don't mind sleeping on either like, i really don't mind i could literally i could literally sleep on the floor and be just as happy but he does not want to if you've been watching francesco's channel for a while now you will know what type of person francesco is so Anything you see on camera, like, ain't, everyone is happy on this end of the lens. Everyone's living their best life, so. Thank you for joining me. I, we're going to have a lovely time in this room. <laughs> Cheers. Celebrating, celebrating bubbles. life. Thank Carbonation you. makes life better. <laughs> That's true. We have finally come out onto the pool deck. As you can see, everything is very wet. Um, we can go up one more deck up top so this is where the sail away party would have been had the weather been a little bit more cooperative but as you can see you know weather is not that great everything's pretty wet it is summer in florida it's to be so. expected yeah we are sailing away from miami all right so we decided to go from that side of the ship to this side of the ship because it's a better view on this side here we go this is what i like to see As we sail away, we decided we were going to go get a slice of pizza each. We are just living our best life. This was an extra slice by accident. I probably will not be having all this. Pizza and champagne. How can you go wrong? Ooh, not bad. Wow. So now that we finished eating our pizza, we're going to go here into the adults area. This area is reserved for guests 18 and older. Only. Only. Oh, you know it's happy hour when all the adults are here. <laughs> On embarkation day here at Signal. Whoa. Uh, there is happy hour. <laughs> you get 30% off of your drinks, so. 
This is the pool here in the adults area on the Disney Magic. Way bigger than it is on the Disney Wish. So Disney Wish, Disney uh, Dream, or Disney Magic? What's your favorite? Um, so, so far, I'm going to leave Disney Magic in the running. But so far, Disney Dream is my baby. But you weren't very happy with Disney Wish? No. No, it, it fell flat. Yeah, I would agree with you. So we're about to go into the Cove Cafe, which is right next to the adults area. Oh, so this is what they have in the evenings. Yeah, I want this. I want oh, these. I do. But I also want kind of something sweet. So we were able to get a few bites here. Some cheese. Faux free. Faux free. <laughs> faux free. Faux free. Yes, it was faux free. <laughs> so we ended up coming to the next happy hour. Happy hour at Keys, the piano bar. We just ordered these welcome home drinks and they are topped off with Moet ice. Wow. If you guys know me, you know I love some Moet ice. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. So it's welcome home with a special DVC member drink. I'm loving this little coaster. 25 Disney Cruise Line. Salud. Salud. Cheers. It tastes just like the frozen fractals drink from the Disney Wish at the Frozen restaurant. It's so good. We came into the shop. Um, not much that I care for. They had lots of shirts and t-shirts and towels. I am not mad at this. Oh, of course, it's a double XL. I don't need a sweater in Florida. A lot of the same t-shirts that they normally have, like, I have that one right there. I have that one right there. So we just got back into the room. I want like Coco vlog for us. But look, I wanted a bunk bed and look, look how cute the, this interior room is popping, y'all. He it's, got what he wanted. Yeah, it's, it's, I kind of want to sleep on the, on the bunk bed. You ain't on the bunk bed. I, I love it. I love that for you. Anyways, time for dinner. Back at Rapunzel's Royal Table. Oh man, I haven't been here in years. Since before the pandemic ordered like a bunch of appetizers so we got calamari chicken bastilla it's like a moroccan chicken or something or other and then coco what did you get again prosciutto prosciutto something i can't remember what we got for our main course or entree but it's, it looks like a strip steak with some mashed potatoes what do you think about rapunzel's royal table you like it whatever yeah <laughs> quite good Oh my goodness, we have three desserts that we're gonna share. That's all I have to say about that. Crack it, crack it, crack it. It didn't really crack. Yeah. Did you enjoy your first dinner on the Disney Magic? I, I did. Are you I feel very sedated right now. Are you feeling sleepy? I feel sedated. 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 So like, I'm like extremely relaxed. I feel the exact same way. So I'm just having some tea, and then we're gonna go to the room and go to bed. The next day. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> it's now 7 a.m. of the next day. I obviously knocked out, so if you watch Coco's video. <laughs> he went to the bathroom, and I just like closed my eyes for a second. Next thing I know, it was like the middle of the night, and I'm, I'm laying there with my shoes on. Fully clothed. Fully clothed, so I had to wake up, wash my face, like brush my teeth. And then I officially went to bed. Um, I feel great today. How do you feel? I feel fantabulous. It was a successful first day on and the I, Disney Magic. I like this bunk bed. It's yeah. Fun. Now, trying to get my big ass off of it is a little trying, but I still <laughs> like it. I would hear him in the middle of the night, like, going down the little stairs. Cricket and cracking. <laughs> going down those little stairs. I'm going to end my day one embarkation on the Disney Magic here thank you for watching my first video of this vlog series if you're new here be sure to be subscribed turn on the bell for post notifications it will alert you the next time that i post the next vlog leave me some comments down below and leave this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on the next one. Oh yeah oh yeah we're in castaway key today so today's gonna be castaway key day so be sure to watch that video goodbye okay,